Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make elevating car using ESP32 module. We will elevate the car using servo motors connected to DC gear motors. In this way, car can go over any small obstacle. We will send car control commands from mobile app using web socket or Wi-Fi connection. So let's get started and make this elevating car. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making elevating car, we will need 4 TT gear motors, 4 wheels, 4 servo motors, wooden plate for car chassis, ESP32 module, L2989 motor driver module, UBEC to provide 5 volt to all servo motors. You can also use any buck converter. 7 to 12 volt DC battery. In our case, LiPo 2S battery. This will provide enough current and also lightweight. Glue gun and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the car now. First, let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount all four servo motors on car chassis using glue gum. Make sure that servo's initial position is approximately in the middle. Attach L2988 motor driver module on car chassis using glue gun. Fix the plastic connectors to all servo motors and screw it properly. Attach DC gear motors to servos now. Make sure these are aligned properly. Join red to red and black to black wires of DC motors on each side. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect right side motors to OUT1 and OUT2 pins of L2988 motor driver module. Now connect left side motors to OUT3 and OUT4 pins of motor driver module. Fix ESP32 module on car chassis using double sided tape. Now connect L2988 motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Attach DC battery power connector to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. Connect UBC to 12 volt supply. Now provide 5V and ground to all servo motors from UBC 5V output. We are providing separate 5V 3A supply to servo motors through UBC. UBC is used to step down battery voltage to 5V. Connect all servo motor signal pins to ESP32 module. We will take plus 5V and ground from L2988 motor driver module and provide to ESP32 module through 5V pin and ground pin. This is the front of the car. This is right side and this is left side. Attach wheels to car now. Let's take a quick look at the code. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. 
go to file preferences and add the esp32 board link then go to tools then boards manager and search for esp32 and install it after that we need to install the async tcp and async web server library download these libraries from the links provided in the description once downloaded go to sketch include library and then click on add zip file select downloaded zip library file and click add similarly add async web server library as well now we need to install esp32 servo library as well for servo motor control go to tools and then manage library search for esp32 servo and install it now we need to include the async tcp library and async web server library also we need to include esp32 servo library we have defined pins for all four servo motors also created objects for controlling servos we have assigned the right and left motor pins we have defined some constants for car movement we have set the pwm frequency resolution and channel for speed we need to set the ssid and password for our esp32 wi-fi we have created web server at port number 80 we will be using websocket for our car control then we have created html page for our car control app and stored it in html home page variable this is the main page which will be displayed on mobile it has all buttons to control the car when any control button is pressed on mobile it will send particular number to esp32 using websocket it has slider controls to elevate the car and also control the speed we have created rotate motor function which takes motor number and direction as arguments it will rotate the motor in forward or backward direction then we have move car function which takes commands like up down left right stop and move the car then we have created elevate car function which will rotate the servo positions we have handle root function which will send html page when we type ip address on mobile browser we have on car input websocket event callback function which will be called when esp32 receives any command from mobile if received control is move car then we will call move car function if received control is speed then we will set the car speed if received control is elevate then we will elevate the car using servo motors we have created setup pin mode function to set the pwm channel for speed control it will also set the motor spin as output we will attach the servo pins to servo objects initially set the servo position to 90 degree inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function then begin wi-fi using soft ap mode setup callback function on root and on not found then attach the web socket handler to web server now begin the wi-fi server inside loop function we just need to call cleanup clients to clean up old clients connection i have provided the link to the code in the description below you can upload it directly now let's upload the code connect esp32 module to laptop using usb cable select esp32 rover module and port hit upload now connect battery to car let's open mobile app now go to wi-fi settings and connect to my wi-fi car ssid using password as 12345678 open google chrome browser on mobile and type 192.168.4.1 it will open our car control app. That's it. Let's see how it works. You can adjust the car speed using the speed control. Using elevate slider, you can elevate the car at certain position.
मेक श्योर टू प्रोवाइड प्रॉपर पावर सप्लाय टू दिस कार मेक श्योर टू प्रोवाइड सेपरेट फाइव वोल्ट पावर सप्लाय टू सर्वोज होप यू गाइज एंजॉय द वीडियो एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग स्टे सेफ एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल